Hello, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I'd like to share with you how I made my Cinderella carriage. So to make the carriage, take these small little balls that you just get for Christmas. So what you do is you take a piece of cardboard, a spare piece of cardboard, I'm just using an old biscuit box, and then trace around so that you can see how large it's going to be. Then take it off and it all depends on where you actually want your seats to sit. So I want mine to sit about here. So I'm taking it off by about two millimeters and then I've got a smaller piece which I'm going to be putting in the middle which will give me the size of my seats to go around. And all you do is trace that out and then cut the pieces out. So that's what you have left. Now what you do is you take your piece and fold it in half, lining up these two corner pieces here. So line those up and then what you're going to do is determine by how big your gap you want your doorway to be. Cut your seats down. So I want my so I'm cutting off about three millimeters. On both sides and then you have your seats which will fit quite nicely inside your carriage. Then cut out two pieces which are one centimeter wide by nine centimeters long and then just round off one of the corners on each piece. A bit like that. So that's going to form the backrest for our little chair, so it'll be glued on like that. We can work out where the distance is from there to here and do the same on that side. I've got some wood in now, which I'm going to be just cutting small pieces to fit these pieces, and then I'm going to glue them on. I've got all the wooding glued onto my small little pieces. And now I'm just going to take some gold ribbon and cover those little pieces with the gold ribbon. The ribbon's all glued onto the cardboard. Now take the backrest and just buckle it a little bit like this so it will actually go around when you're going to be putting it onto the back. So you're just going to glue that on now. Now I've got two pieces of wire. I'm using a 0 0.7 gauge wire and they are 13 centimeters long. These are going to be used to make the legs. So to make the legs, what I've done is I've folded it in half and I'm just going to turn it over. So just twisting it like that. To give me a little bit of a pattern underneath. And then I'm going to carry on to the end and I'm going to just curl it over. So try and make the little loop, that's this little loop here, into the center of the chair and then shape your wire so that it comes around and that's where we're going to put the first loop and on the other side we'll put the loop here. And I'm just taking a pair of pliers, just wind the what wire around the pliers until you get to your marking which is there and that will be the other foot and the same on the other side that's what the little foot looks like once you've wound it around so you've got little tendril type things that will go and sit underneath when you tip the chair over, one in the corner, and now we're just going to glue those into place. So now I'm just going to paint the little feet that we made gold. What I've done now is I've painted a piece of cardboard with a bit of gold, and now I'm going to take one of these circle drawers and just put it on there and trace around and cut it out, and that will give us the floor. Now that our little legs are dry, I'm going to glue them on. I've glued the feet on 
and now I've glued it to the base of the floor so we can then put it into our little container so it'll sit like like that so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint the bottom here gold so that it doesn't all look or sort of see through so those are the chairs done just so it can look a little bit more interesting I'm using the glitter nail polish to do the first layer and then I'll go over it with gold for the wheels I've got these old wheels that I'm not using anymore so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull them apart and I'm going to be using this part of the wheel for my carriage so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint the hub and the spokes on the side of it are all gold and leave the rest black to paint the wheels I'm going to be using these mini detail brushes as you can see it's really really tiny so that's going to be used to paint these really small spokes on the wheels so what I've done now is I've just taken my pieces that I'm going to be using and drawn where they're supposed to be and I'm just making my own decoration of what my like my carriage to look like so that's just a really rough idea of what it's going to be like and then I'm just going to take it and bend all the wires according to the shapes that I've made. I'm using this 0 0.07 galvanized wire which I'm going to be folding because it's really easy to work with. To make the chassis for my carriage I'm using the thin skewers and some straws. For my carriage the distance that I'm going to be using all of is 13 centimeters. The side pieces the straws I'm cutting at 5 centimetres and 4 centimetres and the skewer that's going to go through the straw will have the wheels attached to it. Now my wheels are quite big so I need 2 centimetres on either side so the top one, the back piece, is 11 centimetres and the front one is 9 centimetres so just cut the skewers like that and then attach them. So to attach them, I'm taking the 13 centimetres and I'm attaching them on top of the straw on both sides, in the front and the back. And the reason why I'm using the straws is because I'm going to be attaching the wheels to the end of these. So when I put them in there and glue the carriage onto that, the wheels will still be able to rotate. So we'll have a moving carriage. So to make this step, I've just taken some of this corrugated cardboard that I've got and I've cut out a wee small piece like this which is going to be placed onto my little step like that. So for the wheels I'm taking these small little beads here and I'm just gluing them onto the end of the wheel like this. I've put a skewer through that. So that's what the wheel is looking like at the moment. To attach my little pieces of wire, I'm taking these tiny flower ones and I'm going to glue them in those places there and then I'm going to paint it all gold. So I've painted the front part of the carriage footrest gold now and the centre piece of the footrest is black and gold and to make the carriage's chair, I've just folded the wires around and then taken the same ribbon I used on the inside and put it onto a wee piece of cardboard. And I've made these tiny little figurines. So that's the little bride. And then we've got one of the men that is going to be driving the carriage and the groom. As you can see, they're really small little figurines, so that's the two of them together. I just need to paint the white shirt on him. So this is one of the little lights that I've made for the carriage. I'll show you how I made that. So I get my skewers in packs like this, where you get thin, medium and large skewers. So what I do is I take one of the larger skewers and a piece of tape and now I just use 
packaging that comes off um, anything that I purchase that's got this thin packaging this particular one is taking off Christmas crackers so what you do is you tie you put a bit of tape around your stick and attach it to the plastic and then all you do is just turn the skewer around and then secure it with some sewing tape and once you've done that you just pull the stick out now the tape will normally come away just like that leaving you your little lantern so I make them in a long strip like this and then I cut them down so those little lanterns are one centimetre each so I'm just going to cut my strip into one centimetres to make the top section I've got a packet of these small little tiny beads and I'm going to be taking one of those beads and I'm going to glue them together so now the easiest way to do this is to take a piece of wire thread the beads on and then put on the top I'm just using this paint on super glue you take some paint it on the top and then push it into place and just hold it there until the super glue dries and then your bead will come off all attached together now we're going to glue those onto the top of the lantern for the bottom of the lantern I've got this sequin as you can see it's got a hole through the center and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it I'm going to cut a strip out of it so that I can thread the wire in sideways so then the light goes through there and then we'll seal that closed to put the lights onto the carriage I've just sellotaped them down at the bottom here so that I can get them going in that motion all the way around in the fixed points that I'm actually going to be putting them onto the carriage so I have six lights at the top here now we're going to be putting the side lights or lanterns on the sides so I folded as you can see I folded the wire around like that now I'm going to take the little lantern and put it on so it'll be like that and then we're going to glue the sequin at the bottom And then just do all four lanterns the same. To make the divisions for my carriage, I've got these really tiny, tiny little beads and some tiny little pearls, which I'm going to be placing onto the carriage. But I want it to be a double strip so what I'm doing is I'm taking the two strips and I'm placing them onto some double sided tape so that I can get them to stick onto my little carriage. I'm now attaching the beads to the carriage. Just remember when you put in the beads on don't forget to remove the sellotape that you put on to hold the lights in place for positioning. So I painted the chassis gold and I've attached the wheels and I've put the carriage on top I made these glue flowers if you'd like to see how to make them please look at my other video so I've placed one of the flowers on the top and the other one I've placed on the side over there so that it kind of covers the gap where my coachman sits and then of course the bride and groom or inside to make the horse support over here I've just used some toothpicks and I've taken the same piece of ribbon that I used on these places and folded it in half and glued a little pocket around so that the toothpicks can actually go in there. For the horse reins I've only used some cotton and I've just done a very very simple harness that goes around the horse's head. So I've completed my little Cinderella carriage 
So, looking at the side, the wheels, and I'm not showing you how I made my horse, but that's the little horse that I made to go with my carriage. And then when you put the lights on, that's the little carriage all lit up. If you found this video helpful or you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate it if you would subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.